Hey, what's up, my little title toes? How y'all doing today? Well, baby, if you are Khloe Kardashian, mm, you just got played again. Now, listen, at this point, we can all agree Khloe must like it because she ain't doing nothing to stop it. But y'all, Tristan, I don't know. I feel like one of the demons from Dante's Inferno is mentioning the poltergeist or whatever you want to call him. Y'all, what am I talking about? Khloe got played again and i don't know what she expects at this point chloe you're not getting played tristan is giving you what he's always given you some hard d and bubble gum and he fresh out of bubble gum but all jokes aside chloe really thought by pledging her allegiance to tristan's brother by giving him that shout out for his birthday by doing all this mess Tristan was going to be one step closer to being hers. Oh, he is one step closer from doing what the F he wants. Y'all, what am I talking about? Tristan is going ahead with his plans to purchase a house in Chloe's neighborhood. In her neighborhood. Now, listen. A few months back when they were on the outs, Tristan was talking about purchasing a house to be closer to his richest baby's mom, which is Chloe. Chloe was doing her best, sources are saying, to get Tristan to move in and play happy family with her. Unfortunately, as we know, Tristan's mom passed away. Chloe took that opportunity not to get back with Tristan, because even Kardashian sources are saying that Chloe and Tristan have been back for a minute, but to rehab Tristan's image. Again, a funeral or a marriage always washes the slate clean. However, Tristan did so much mess. They were like, it doesn't matter if the Titanic sinks again. We still remember who he is. But girl, what about you? Weren't you the one that had us as a a group support for you? Only to tell everybody to kiss your butt and you back with them? Now listen, I'm there with Chloe when she says, it's my life. I'll do what I want. That's right, you will. But can you please leave us out of this? Anyway, let's get back to the way uh, Tristan played Chloe and Chloe lashed out. Tristan, all his stuff was over at Chloe's house. She thought they were on their way to moving back in together. She felt, pledged her fealty, he said she was going to be raising her his brothers with them. You know Chloe was just talking. She ain't raising them. Actually, let me clarify. Chloe will raise those babies as long as Tristan is coming home to her at night. She, Tristan don't even got to be faithful. As long as Tristan is coming home to her at night. However, let's see how Chloe talked to, talking about Amari, I got your back forever. When Tristan moves on with whoever he is going to marry because that's right Tristan is at the point of his life where he needs a wife he has too many responsibilities at home and he needs a wife anyway Chloe thought that Tristan was gonna move in with her they built the house together they did all this stuff Tristan finally let her know that he is not moving in with her permanently he was just staying with her while he's ready for his house to be finished yes that house that was supposed to go up for sale that house that he was supposed to let go that house that was just supposed to be you know something in the middle before they really rekindle he's going ahead and moving in with them he's going to be down the street with dream close enough for chloe to be a caretaker until the girl he really wants comes into his life y'all chloe found out about it and look what she wrote Look what she posted. Let me pull this up. Because this is actually, if it wasn't so sad, it'd be funny. You know what? What am I saying? It's funny. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's funny. Chloe said, she posted this right after it was reported that Tristan is buying a house in her neighborhood. She said, I release anything in my life that no longer serves me. Is that including your self-esteem, your sense of self, your love of self? Your, role, your your dream of being a role model to your daughter. She said, I let go of limiting beliefs from myself. The only belief you had was that Tristan was your soulmate. And that's the best you deserve. I hope you let that go. She then went on to say, this is powerful. I believe in my power. No, you don't. And who I'm becoming. No, you don't. You, what? Chloe, honestly, let's have a talk about this. Who is Chloe becoming? Because Chloe right now is turning into a shadow. And I'm not even saying that funny. She is turning into a shadow. You are a shadow. 
Literally, she's turning into a shadow for Tristan Thompson. Imagine the man that everybody knows is a trick. Everybody knows it's a jump off. And when I say everybody, I mean the girls that he was tricking on and the girls that were his jump off. Everybody knows that you are a joke. Go for you. Go to Tristan for a good time, not a long time. Tristan out here making babies and repopulating the world like it's Noah Ark. Nobody takes that boy seriously except for Chloe talking about you regain your power girl shut up shadow and who she really is anyway shadow ended up saying i choose to show up for myself every day through hard work and self-care <sighs> listen shadow kardashian showing up to yourself every day is not showing up for hard work and self-care getting massages getting your nails done getting like even med that is not self-care so i mean it could be but self-care is removing yourself from danger that's self-care anyway chloe went on to say god it's so exhausting everything that i desire is already within me that is some real mess Everything you desire actually is within you, Chloe. The love, the friendship, the companionship, the gentleness, the protective. Everything you need is inside yourself. Unfortunately, Chloe is focusing outward on Tristan. She thinks if she can fix Tristan, she can fix herself, right? She thinks if she can lash out and do this stuff, that I let me tell y'all something. I don't believe in karma, but I find it just so funny that Chloe is always doing these things, talking about, I'm going to be blessed. The Lord's going to bless me. Yes, yes, yes. I don't believe that God is a vengeful God. But Chloe, when are you going to start looking at You were just Southern Black China yesterday about how evil people need to be saved. And now you putting out the bat signal, begging Tristan to love you and letting you him know you're not gonna put up with it. Let me tell y'all something. I said this once and I said this twice. This is the real issue with Chloe. That you have to... Tristan got somebody else pregnant. She's lucky he ain't bring anything home that got letters as a word that starts with an S and ends with a D. I'm being just serious. Tristan has mocked you, humiliated you, cried... Tristan has gazed adoringly at your little sister's butt while you were standing right there if those photos can be believed. Tristan has tried to make out with your little sister's friend. Tristan has done so much. And still, you're not leaving him. You ain't never leaving him. Y'all, I wish this was a normal word and Tristan going back on it would turn Chloe off so much, but it's not. It's not. She out here unironically posting memes again, hoping Tristan reads them. <sighs> Tristan is le reading them right before he puts his phone on silent and rolls over onto his new woman. Y'all, listen, pray for Chloe. At this point, there needs to be a seance, and exorcism. I don't know. Maybe she is this. I don't know. Y'all, let me know what you think in the comments. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.